to share the astrology for the next week or two for October. So we have a lot of things to look forward to. Um, between October 11th and October 18th, the sun is going to, the sun is in Libra and it's going to square Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. Now this is one of the last cardinal squares of the year. Um, this, it's about you, the sun, versus the whole world, three slow moving planets. Jupiter represents, it's the planet of faith and joy. Pluto is the planet of transformation, passion, and power. Saturn is the planet of discipline. All of these signs are in the sign of Capricorn. So this is about some explosive, slow moving change that will bring faith and joy our way. Now, cardinal signs, they usher in change. I think of the cardinal signs as the cardinal bird that comes at the beginning of spring. So it's bringing in a new season. So we are bringing in change for ourselves. Now squares are difficulties. They're lessons that we need to learn. So this square is going to give you a feeling of spiritual claustrophobia. Like it's like being you, but you is not acceptable anymore. So you can of course resist the change at first and say, this is who I am. I'm not going to change. Know that the divine spark of light that is you will never change. Your light is always going to shine bright. You are the divine gift of the universe. But your self-concept, -con the mask that you put on, even without even knowing it, must change. You don't have to submit into the world. You don't have to give up who you are, but you have to seek out a more authentic version of yourself. This is what the Cardinal Square is here to help us with. Now on October 12th, Jupiter is going to sextile Neptune. I love this aspect. Um, it's beautiful. It's, I think of it as a gift and a helping hand. Remember, Jupiter's the planet of gifts and expansive energy. Everything it touches becomes bigger, brighter, better. Neptune represents our intuition, what we feel inside. So this is gonna be a time of faith and hope. It's gonna feel like a ray of light that's gonna help us reconnect with our inner guidance. So we can get out of our heads and tune into our intuition. Now, this is for inner guidance and this is to help us move forward. So follow your inner, inner compass. Mark the dates of October 13th and 14th on your calendar. These are gonna be some of the most eventful days of October. Not only is Mercury going to fi finally turn retrograde, Remember that right now we're in the, the, the pre where we are figuring out and looking at what is messing up in our lives, uh, but it will actually turn retrograde, slow down, stop, look like it's going backwards. So, but the sun is going to be opposite of Mars, the warrior, remember when it's opposite of. So Mercury is the planet of communication of all types. And so when it goes retrograde, we are first to, forced to re-examine, rewrite, review, re-acknowledge, re-everything, all types of communication. So when this happens, this can also mean miscommunication through text, news, media, people between us. Now the sun is gonna be opposite of Mars. What this means is that this is the exact middle of the Mars cycle. Hello, thank goodness we are halfway through this fiery energy of change. We're now going to start to see more clarity about what needs action and change in our life. Now is not the time for quick action. I know Mars wants quick action. They want things done now. Remember, they're like the starter. But thanks to Mercury retrograde, this is there's going to be some confusion with all of our communication. So we need to use caution and direct our energy to move forward in a slow, methodical way. Now on October 16th, we're gonna have a new moon in Libra. I love new moons. It's about setting intentions. It's, it's, Libra is the scales, the balance. It's about love. Well, this is going to be one of the more difficult new moons of this year. This is going to be one of the most action-packed also. Nobody said this was going to be easy. We need the stress. We need the adrenaline. We need the push to make us take action and move forward. So all of this is building for us to change because if we're not pushed out of our comfort zone, we will not change. We will stay complacent. 
set your intentions for protection, not necessarily growth at this time. Think of it as a time of pruning, preservation, and protection. Um, what can I live without? What do I want to preserve? What do I need to protect? It's difficult to plant seeds in barren soil. And right now, that's where we are. And so what can we salvage in order to move forward? So set your new moon intentions. Let's get through this week. It's going to have some ups and downs and some bumpy rides, but it's going to be okay. So if you want to find out where this is in your chart, you can contact me at willagracemystic.com. Let's talk about where your transits are or your solar return or your natal chart. You can also contact me. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Anchor Podcasts. I would love like, love, share, thumbs up, all the above. Thank you for supporting me. I heart you. Thank you.